Good morning and welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. It's Saturday morning. It's nine o'clock. I slept in a little later today. I slept in until like 8.30. And by slept in, I meant I stayed in bed. I was awake, but right now I am mixing up the boys' food. They get wet food in the morning. Who's sneezing down here, sir? And um, I add a little water to it. Jackson Galaxy said that's helpful. So for their coat and for them, you know, more water. I also have a disaster of a kitchen. I broke my own little rule. It's not really a rule, but I like to have a clean kitchen when I go to bed, but I didn't feel like it last night. So, hi buddy, you hungry? We are going to run some errands today. I have to go pick up a few things. Need some groceries. Um, I need to do something with this hair. Guys, I have a weird cowlick, like right here. And it's not happy with this length of hair. So I'm gonna let it grow. So the weight of this back hair holds it down. So I'll get a little fuller in the back, I think. So we're just waiting, but anyway. I need to go to the post office and mail a prize. I need to get some groceries. I need to, oh, outside. I have a bush in my front yard that it's, what is it, a smoke bush or something? I can't remember the name of it, but it grows like wild. It had, and they never cut it back in the fall. So I'm gonna go out there with my clippy thingies and cut back the tall branches. As soon as this thing wakes up, it's gonna go crazy like it does every year. And it will, it'll fill in once the branches or the buds start, it'll fill in in a week, like completely full. I mean, it's a beautiful plant, but it really grows aggressively. And like at the end of last summer, it was touching my bedroom window upstairs. That can't happen this year. So I'm gonna get out there and get the ladder I'll bring you along while I cut some stuff. I have to feed the boys. And I've decided that I earned, I don't know earned, I'm going to Dunkin' Donuts for coffee this morning. It's really one of my favorite coffees. I'm not feeling Starbucks today. So I'm headed to Dunkin'. And then on the after I go to Dunkin', I'll run my, my errands that direction. 32 degrees outside so I have my fleece on with a t-shirt and shorts because that's how I roll and then later we're going to talk about my nails and how I get my nails you'll be surprised because I was Ooh, and I bought something so I have decided even though I can't go anywhere I'm planning my trip for next year so I got my first purchase which says uh, let the adventure begin. It's a travel cup, but it's made out of bamboo. So it's totally, you know, it's biodegradable. It holds, I think, 20 ounces. I'm not going to use it until I go on a vacation. I don't care what vacation, a vacation. And it will be my travel cup for the car. Yes. I don't even know if it'll keep coffee hot. At this point, I don't care. I just needed something to make me feel like I have a trip coming up because, well, I don't. All right, let's get moving. Okay, we went to the post office, mailed out the prize. Congratulations again, Michelle. Your package is on its way. Oh, my hair. I'm gonna need a shower soon, but I wanna do some yard work. I say yard work. I don't really have a yard. I have a condo, but you know, some outdoor stuff before I do that. So right now I am at line at Dunkin' Donuts to get my coffee. It's my reward. And I can tell you a little story time. So I called the repair service. I have a home warranty. Called the repair service because I had two outlets that I promise you those outlets were not working. One was in my living room and um, the light just wouldn't come on. And I know that I went down, I switched outlets, I did all the things, nothing happened, yada, yada. So then I go upstairs later and realize that the lights over my bathroom sink are not working. 
and I plugged in something. I know I did. I plugged something into the outlet and nothing worked. And I was like, what is going on? So I figured it was a breaker again or, you know, something. So I called the home warranty company. And then in the meantime, before I had called, because I waited about a week to make the call or to go online and do it, my garbage disposal starts leaking. I'm like, what the Hades is happening at my house? So I um, call for two service calls, $75 each. That's what I pay. And they call me back, get my appointments. One was on Wednesday and one was on Thursday. So Wednesday comes around and the plumber comes. He's my Wednesday appointment. He comes, it was like six o'clock at night. And he turns on my disposal, turns it off, looks, gets a call, goes outside, comes back and says, well, it sounds like you've sent something down there that wasn't supposed to be and it bent some thing in the motor and now it's leaking. Dude, I haven't stuck anything down there but the occasional spoon or fork that accidentally gets stuck. So he's like, well, I've seen it go both ways. Your warranty may pay for it, it may not, but we'll let you know. So I still haven't heard back about that. So I'm like, okay. Then Thursday comes and the electrician's here and I'm like, okay, I have pulled the couch out. I'm like, this outlet's not working. I have tried, you know, popping all the breakers and blah, blah, blah. And he sticks his little machine in. He's like, what's well, getting juice? I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? So I go out in the garage and get a light bulb. Yep, sure enough, the light bulb had blown. But I know I checked that outlet. Then I'm like, but I know upstairs is not working because I even plugged something into this outlet and it wasn't working. Yeah. So apparently in one day, five light bulbs blew at one time. I have four over my sink. So apparently I paid somebody $75 to come change light bulbs. I apparently I'm a bougie girl and I can afford to pay $75 for somebody to come change my light bulbs, but whatever, it's working. I think that there was something in my fuse box because I had gone down and turned them all on and off. So I think that I fixed it, but whatever. I will go down in infamy as the lady that called an electrician to come out because she was, had burnt out light bulbs. Yeah. So I'm waiting to hear back on my garbage disposal. If they pay it, then they'll come back and replace it. If they don't, then I have to pay an additional $225 to get it fixed. But it's one of those things that needs to be done because it's leaking anytime I use the sink or the garbage disposal or the um, dishwasher. So. That's why I'm going to Dunkin' Donuts. I feel like I earned it this week. It's been a long week. Oh, and my poor brother, this brother. Last weekend gets sick. I'm supposed to go golfing on Monday, golf trip week away. And Sunday he wakes up sick, thinking, oh, I've got the flu. Maybe it's food poisoning, you know, like stomach sick. By Wednesday, not better. They take him to the hospital because it's bad and it's COVID. So good luck getting in to see a doctor. Um, yeah, he had a, just had major surgery, emergency surgery on Thursday morning. Um, insides. We've all had different bariatric surgery. He had the Rue and Y where they bypass your surgery and this is a, a known issue where the the bowel can wrap around and that happens so they fix them all up but he's a hurting unit for sure still in the hospital hopefully he'll be home tomorrow so his daughter I just called her told her I talked to him so she can give him a call and yeah so it's been kind of a crazy week here and I thought let's do a day in my life but it's probably gonna be boring today because all the fun stuff happened during the week none of which I was recording but you know what else is all crooked so the plan right now let's do that is coffee it's important I need coffee I'm gonna get a cup of coffee and I'm getting a big in then we are going to maybe go to the grocery store 
I definitely need to go to a Dollar Tree that's not near my house. I've been to all of mine and we don't really have anything exciting right now and I need stuff to do a haul. So I think there's a Dollar Tree down the street here, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll go to a different Dollar Tree to find out what's happening. I kind of want to go back to Costco and get some Parm Crisps. Oh my gosh, they're so good. They are so good. Um, they're just the crunchy. But do I need Parm Crisps? Probably not. Do I want Parm Crisps? Yes. So I might do that. And also, I really think I need to start putting my fall winter clothes away and pulling out my spring summer. I'm not sure if I have that in me today, but we'll see. Definitely need to get my house clean. Got to clean my kitchen and figure out what I'm having for dinner. Maybe chicken salad. I just bought some salad mix. I have chicken in the freezer that's already grilled. I could do that. But then I would need to get salad fixings and um, salad dressing. I don't have any salad dressing. So, yeah, maybe we'll do that for dinner tonight. I'm not feeling like cooking a lot this weekend. So, there's that. No need. No need to cook this weekend. I might go for a walk tomorrow with Sarah if she's feeling better. She had her... Um, second vaccine last yesterday afternoon so she's having a down day today but we'll see all right I'm gonna order my coffee and we'll catch up with you at my next stop okay we had a good time and not so good time at Costco guys they have these huge bags 18 pound bags two for 17 or 14.99 so like 750 a bag that's great 213 gallon trash bags 14.99 cheapest I've ever seen them. I was buying mine at Home Depot, but that's a better deal. And then some mixed nuts because, well, you know, I like mixed nuts. But they were out of my palm crisps. Oh, well, we'll see. Hopefully next week they'll have them. All right, next stop. Okay, I'm in the car, but I don't know where my car keys are. All right, Costco was good and, and bad all at the same time. Um, good because I got that charcoal, which probably will last me all summer. And $7.49 a bag for an 18 pound bag is really good. Ugh. I also got some nuts that I can't seem to get the lid off. Ugh. I'm going to see if it, oh, it's, it's going to have a nut. Okay. Never mind the nuts. We'll have coffee. Um, but so the trash bags, like I was telling you. I have typically bought mine at Home Depot. It's 150 bags for $13.99. That was 200 bags for $14.99, which is a fantastic deal. If you don't have a Costco, Home Depot still is a fantastic deal. That lasts me like six months. I create a lot of mess, apparently. I'm still purging my house too, so there's that. But, um, I'm gonna get some fresh air. It's warm or it's me. I go either way. This place was a zoo. I was gonna video for us in here, but that is not gonna happen. Way too many people in there. I don't know if we're coming up on spring break for the kids here or not. I don't remember. I think closer to Easter time is our spring break here, if I had to guess. But anyway. Um, but the main reason I was here was for Parm Crisps. I like the cheese wisps. They're okay. They're okay. They're good. And that was my go-to until I tried the Parm Crisps. And now I'm like obsessed with them and they're out of stock. So there's that. I'm um, going to have to maybe go online and see if I can find them. I also need gas. So let's see what the line is like here. That's a pretty long line, but we need gas and we're at the Costco. So we should get gas at the Costco, right? Because we gotta use our membership that we pay for. I'm thinking of switching up to Sam's Club only, 
So if we don't go back to the office, I'm thinking of switching up to Sam's Club. There's the closest Costco to me is 20 minutes away, which I mean, in the reality of life, it's not a big deal. However, um, there's a Sam's Club like two minutes from my house. So there's that. And I need to get in line for the gasoline. Let's go this way. I'm just gonna drive around here like the nutball that I am and get in the shortest line. Because it's time to buy some gas. And again, we're at Costco, might as well get our gas here. Oh, it's my turn. All right, gonna pump some gas. It is 2.36 today, which is not bad at all. Let's get some home. I put the rest of my Dunkin' Donuts in here. I'm gonna make iced coffee, but I'm adding to it something that I, t I tend to take a couple times a week, usually once or twice. It's Miralax. Um, part of it is my diet. I don't, I don't get enough fiber um, with a low carb diet. That is one thing I have struggled with for the past four years. Um, but I'm willing to sacrifice that and have to take a little bit of medicine to help me to keep my diabetes under control as best I can. Part of that too is drinking plenty of liquids. So these are just Gatorade Zero bottles that I love Gatorade Zero, but to buy it every, you know, seven a week would get a little excessive. So what I do is I take my little Crystal Light or my sugar-free drink mixes that I buy all the time at the Dollar Tree, and I will mix up. So this was Island Punch. I actually got that at Dollar General. Here is some Cherry 7-Up. And what I do is I try to drink minimum in the evening one of these 32 ounce bottles. I have water throughout the day as well, but this really helps me stay hydrated. And especially come bicycle time, I'm gonna have to double down on this. Uh, that was peach iced tea, and this is pineapple sunkissed. So yeah, I put them in the fridge. And then sometimes in the evening, I'll throw them in the freezer and let them get like almost slushy consistency. And that's fun at night, helps me get my fluids in. And then I just keep them in the fridge. So I've had these bottles, now I'll buy Gatorade. I like it. I especially buy it for when I'm riding my bike. Although I did buy the noon tablets to try this time. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm finishing getting this kitchen cleaned up. I have all the other counters wiped down. I just need to wipe down this area. Sometimes I get a little lazy during the week, I will admit it. And I don't always wipe up as good as I should before going to bed. Um, on this drink here, this takes a few minutes for it to dissolve. And then I pretty much drink it right down. So this was about eight to 10 ounces of coffee. It doesn't matter what I mix it with. And then I have tons of ice in here to make it like iced coffee. Sometimes I'll mix it with a glass of this. It doesn't matter, I just have to get it in. And like I said, I try to have it, if you drink too much of it, if, or if I drink too much, it goes the opposite direction and I have other issues, so. Plus I eat a lot of cheese in my diet. So there's, there's of course that issue. Now I'm just gonna spray down my surfaces. I still have to put some stuff away. Part of the issue I'm having too is um, my drink mixes stay in the cabinet. I'll put those away. But this stuff here goes under the sink. But the problem is I can't Put them under the sink until I have the plumber fix my garbage disposal because I have a bucket under there catching the leak um, going in. 
This is actually bathroom cleaner that I'm using from Method, but it's spearmint and I love the smell of it. And it's one of their only products that has antibacterial qualities to it. So, I did a decent job on my counters. I rotate around, I have so many cleaners. That's why I'm on a no purchase cleaner kick this year as well. Unless of course I, you know, run out of something. Like trash bags. I just got, oops, I just got new trash bags because I was gonna run out. That's all I have left of the other. So when I was at Costco, pick it up. All right, now I'm gonna finish tidying up this kitchen. Maybe have a little something to eat. It's 1242, I haven't had really any breakfast or lunch yet. I wanted to get out early and get my errands run. I'm waiting for my glasses to come in that I ordered. Here, let's move you. Sorry, 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 not trying to make anybody motion sick. Let's see if this will help. Look at that. I just need to clean this side. My poor pepper grinder is on its last leg. So I need to think about getting another one. Um, although I did purchase, uh, this just grinds pepper, but this is not, like you can't refill this container, which is fine. I mean, I can use my other one, sort of. I'm just being, I'm just being fussy and I won't throw it away, but I need to throw it away. Cat food, cat bowl, no, those are my pork rinds. But I need to get rid of that thing. And get a new one. I've had that pepper grinder, oh my gosh, 10, 12 years. So I don't feel like it, you know, it did its duty. I got it at Ikea like a hundred years ago. There we go. Nothing really too dusty back here. Although I'm telling you, I'm going through all these dish, all these tools and getting rid of half of them. I'm in a purgy mood lately, guys. Can't help it. Oh, if, here's a little fun fact. If you buy all natural peanut butter, um, I get this at Costco, it's Kirkland's brand. And you see how it's really running. I store it upside down like this so I don't get a clump at the bottom. Then when I open this package, I turn it over, give it a few minutes, everything at the top, you know, make sure it goes down. Then I take a mixer, my hand mixer, and I, hi. And then I whip it up. Somebody wanted some attention. Then I whip it up with the hand mixer. Immediately I store it in the fridge and it will not separate. It's a little involved, but that's what I have to do to get peanut butter that doesn't have any additives. This is literally salt. No, is there even salt in here? This is literally dry roasted organic peanuts and sea salt. So there's no additives, no fillers. So whipping it up keeps it from getting clumpy at the bottom. And then I put it in the fridge and it keeps it nice. What well, baby? Do you want a treat or are you wanting lunch? You hungry? All right, maybe I'll feed them first, then me, and then we're gonna go outside and we're gonna do, oh, the hair. We're gonna go outside and we're gonna cut down a bush. All right, I chopped most of it down. There's a couple more I can get to with just my little clippers. This tree, let me tell you, it's a grass sieve. It'll be back full. I'll have to trim it two or three times this summer, but I got most of the big, tall branches that were hitting my bedroom window, which is a little freaky when you live alone. And here are <laughs> all the branches I cut down. 
And as you can see how long they are. Yeah, I got all that cut down. Whew, feels good. Hey guys, super excited. I got my project that I really wanted done today done, which was my, um, you know, getting that tree trimmed. Jeez, Lori, English words. So now I'm making a brine. I took some pork chops out of the freezer. They're thawing. Um, I like to brine my pork chops. And if you're not familiar, what a brine does is it kind of adds moisture to the pork, which can be kind of dry. Um, I will let these soak probably overnight. So I will cook them tomorrow with a little bit of my pork rinds, do like a shake and bake thing. But I'm making up my brine mixture right now. I'll put it in boiling water, let it steep like a tea, and then I'll strain it before I soak my um, pork chops in it overnight. Now, a brine, you know, it adds flavor also. So I took some of my, out of my defunct pepper grinder, took some of the peppercorns in there and a little bit of pink salt. I'm also gonna add some apple cider vinegar. I like the way it tastes in here. It brings a little acid and it also brings a little um, of that apple scent. And I like that with pork chops. So I do that. I've got, if you hear the tea kettle on behind me. Then I'm just going to add some Italian. If I had like a bay leaf, I would totally have that in here too. But this is just zesty Italian seasoning that I made. Garlic. There's some onion powder in here. Parsley, basil, all kinds of stuff. So I'll do some of that in there. Not a whole ton. Probably about a tablespoon. And then I'm going to put some fresh garlic just because I think it brings a little something to the table. So I'll do that. Oh, I'm almost out. I should have bought some while I was at Costco today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do this here in a minute. As soon as the tea kettle comes up to boil, I'll just fill it up to probably four cups and I will let it steep and sit here till it cools down, comes down to temperature. Like you really want it to be at room temperature or colder. You don't want to put hot brine on pork chops that are raw and let it sit because you'll partially cook them. That's not a safe thing to do. Um, you can also get like seasoning blends and do, all I'm making is like a infused water, basically. Anything in here that will dissolve will stay. The big chunky things will get flushed out when I strain it out before I stick it in with the pork. I'll bring it back. I'm just waiting on the water to come up to boil. Pour it over here and just let it sit while I go about our day. So yes, my pork chops, here I'll show them to you while I'm, I have them sitting in cold water, although they're pretty thawed right now. But these came from the butcher. My cousin had a pig slaughtered and portioned out, and this is how they came. Vacuum sealed and frozen, and there are four pork chops on the bone in here. These are pork loin, and this is like two pounds, but I'll get four pork chops. So I have it sitting right now in cold water just to let it continue to defrost. But I need to do this first. So I may end up sticking after this cools. I may stick it in the fridge and let it finish getting cold. Like I said, I don't even want it room temperature. I can also add some ice cubes to cool it down. So if I did like, let's say two cups of hot water, got all the good flavor, then added ice to cool it down and strain it, which is, I think that's a better plan so I can get these in the refrigerator and you can let them sit. You can do this to really any meat, chicken, pork, turkey. Um, yeah, I think it's great. And these are so thin and it's already, well, it's only, it's already three o'clock. We'll see, I could probably let these soak for a couple hours in this brine and then do them up tonight for dinner. Maybe we'll do that since they are pretty thin. If they were really thick pork chops, I would definitely leave them overnight. But let's see what we can get done today. All right got my tea kettle boiling so we're gonna go halfway in here then I'm gonna give it a good stir and you can see all the chunky bits I'm just gonna let it infuse basically the 
the peppercorns, the garlic, the parsley, the basil, all that Italian seasoning is gonna come to life. Yep, you could do this with tea too, like black tea, oh, or matcha. But that's what it's gonna look like for now. I'll let this come to temperature, like sit here for maybe a half an hour, let the brine cool, add ice cubes to it, and then I grab my container. I'm gonna put the pork chops in here, pour this mixture over it. If I need to add water, I can, and then I will cover it. Put it in the fridge for a couple hours and let it brine, and then we'll make um, some pork chops and probably some roasted broccoli for dinner. I haven't had that in a while. So apparently I do feel like cooking today. Who knew? All right, well, I don't know what I'm gonna get into next. I was taking a little bit of a breather, but I should sweep and mop this floor and do some laundry. So why don't we do some laundry? Okay. Oh, I've got the rugs picked up. I have you on my tripod, so I'm trying to figure out how to hold it. Um, I picked up these rugs. I'm going to wash them. Let me tell you, I grabbed these at Kohl's. And what I love about them is they're microfiber and they are washable, which is perfect in my life. Let me check the washer. Maybe I should turn the light on up here. What do you think? All right. I'm just going to sit you down on the washer. How are we doing? We're good. Okay. So I'm going to do some towels and these and they're let's see what are they they are sonoma good for life and i i don't know i just love being able to wash the towels and rugs that are in the kitchen so we have two rugs in here a beach towel and I think that should be good. Do I have any other? Nope, okay. So that's it for now. <laughs> what I do when I empty out my washer is I put a scoop of uh, scent booster and I put a tab of detergent in it right away. And that way it's always ready. Ugh. Let's ignore what's in the dryer for right now, shall we? That's my laundry area. It's kind of a mess, but there we go. It's up on the second level between the bedrooms. It's dark in here. I would love to get a light installed up in here. Definitely is not something I'm doing, but it could happen. Yeah, so that's my little laundry area. That's my office behind me, and now we're going back downstairs. I do a lot of stairs, which is good. All right, so we put the laundry in. Oh, there's my Dollar Tree sign I made. I do use my stuff. All right, oh, I need a shower, guys. I've got to do something with this hair. I am a mess, and I've been sawing trees. Oh, look, it's kind of a mess in this window too, but I did bring all my plant life up. And this is right here is where the boys love to lay in the sunshine during the day. So I have to make sure I leave them plenty of room in there. And the dirt, yep, that's where they got to wrestling up here and knocked my plant over. But it's such a beautiful day outside, guys. And that tree that I cut is right here outside my window. Part of the reason that I wanted it cut is it does block my view. The other reason is it bangs on my window, which freaks me out. And if it gets too big, it will ruin my foundation. Can't be having that. All right, I need more coffee. Right, got my pork chops in here. They're completely defrosted. I do rinse them off. And this is all nice and chilled. So this is probably too much brine for all this, but it will go in there. And I'm just running it through a sieve. You don't have to. I just don't want to deal with all the peppercorns and garlic and things that didn't dissolve like all of this stuff that didn't dissolve. I don't, I don't want to deal with it, but I will clean it up in a minute. So there we have 
and that would probably hold more but you do want to make sure everybody is under the water submerged and this pork chop here is not so we're gonna make sure it's cold water just gonna add some more cold water there I think that should be plenty let's move this this way let's do this if I'm gonna have any of that sticking out I would rather it be the bone because the bones not gonna pick up any flavor and then I'm gonna put this lid on it and then I'm gonna walk by it every once in a while and just give it a little slosh to make sure that everything on the inside is doing what it's supposed to. This doesn't feel like it's an airtight container, so I won't like do a bunch of aggressive sloshing, but this will sit in the fridge for several hours. And then when I'm ready to make the pork chops, either tonight or tomorrow, I will um, just bread them. All I'm gonna do is put them in some pork dust that I made and throw them on the, in the oven at 350 till, you know, about 30 minutes. That is it, but that's the brining process. I do this with a pork for sure, um, because pork tends to be dry and I hate a dry pork chop. So that's it. That is how I brine my meat. Hey friends, we're gonna make dinner. And while I'm making dinner, I'm gonna do a little story time for you about my nails. I've gotten a lot of positive feedback on them. <laughs> I'm like, how do I show you? There we go. So here's fun fact. They're press on nails. What? Yes, this is the brand kiss impress. There's several different boxes and styles, but this is the brand. Oh, here. Sorry. If you can't, could didn't see it quick enough. So these are impress color. They have some like these that have the accent nail. This one does not. Oh, before I get into it, um, I'm making pizza dip to have with pork rinds for dinner because I'm tired, guys. I've been running all day, and I really would love to order a pizza, but since that's not really an option in my life, I'm making pizza dip. So it's basically crustless pizza, and then I use uh, pork rinds to dip, or sometimes I just use a fork can also do it in a skillet but I felt like tonight was all about throwing it in the oven letting it warm up and then dipping my pizza in it oh I did want some onion in here now yes I know the onion will not be cooked I don't care I like raw onion but anywho so these nails I have been seeing all over YouTube and people that I know who are using um, these fake nails and I was like what so the last I will tell you the last time I put a try to wear a fake nail was probably when I was in high school yeah let me tell you they've come a long way these nails will last on my hands about a week to a week and a half now this week I replaced this nail and I had to replace this nail so they'll start lifting but I mean I use these I'm forever doing stuff and by lifting the glue just will start separating but you get 30 nails per set like 30 nails is enough to do probably two I would say two full sets because you know different size nails and stuff and I'm not I haven't gotten involved with trying to clip them down or nail file them or whatever Ooh, but um I will tell you I'm making stirring this because I got too much in one spot. That I put this these on a week ago Saturday. Hey baby. And I have you know I keep them handy so that I can um, if I need an extra one I just peel it off. Now they do come with a like alcohol wipe or some type of a pad to wipe your nail. I've just been using if I have to replace one. I've just been wiping it off with nail polish remover and it's working perfectly fine. None of them have like popped off randomly. Sorry, I have, <laughs> I washed, I washed that pan and I had it in the oven to, to dry. Um, yeah, I, I just used 
nail polish remover or rubbing alcohol, I'm sure would work. You're just trying to get the oils off your nail bed. From what I've heard, some people can wear them up to two weeks. Now, I do get the short length. That is my preference. And for me, I think shorter nails definitely would last longer. I type all day. I'm forever doing stuff. Um, so for me, the short length is what is what works. But I've seen them in all different lengths and styles. And I would assume the different brands all work the same. This is just mozzarella cheese, guys. Nothing fancy here. <clears throat> And then I cut up some pepperoni. So yeah, I'm super excited about these nails. Um, they don't seem to have damaged my nail in any way. Um, I will tell you for me personally, hi baby, you want some pepperoni? Yeah, here you go. No? You just want me to pet you? But, <clears throat> sorry, you just got fur on my hand. So yeah, I love them. Sorry, I had to wash my hand. He just got fur on me. Yeah, and I, and I love them. And I love the ease in which I can slap them on. It takes like five minutes. You just want to make sure you find the right size nail. If, somebody, if you'd like to see me put a set on, let me know. Um, what I did do, so here's the thing. My nails apparently are weird. My own personal nails. Hi, baby. I know. Give me a minute. And if I wear too much nail polish or product or anything on them, I end up, this is Parmesan cheese. I end up with them splitting, not cracking, but like peeling. And I think it's from an, all the nail polish and product. I have not had that issue with these. But what I have been doing each time I put a new set on is trimming my own nail back short because I want it to be able to grow out stronger if they're still a couple of them are still peeling from the last the last go round so i'm giving them a break these don't seem to affect them in any way shape or form so i'm super excited about this and i wanted to share with you but i wanted to try them before i talked about them price point i will tell you it's a bizarre but i have seen them anywhere here baby you want some cheese here, get your cheese. I have seen them anywhere from $3.99 at like Marshall's TJ Maxx, which I believe was last year's models, colors. Um, and then I just went to Ulta and I they were $10 for this same set that I paid $6.97 at Target and they were $5.97 at Walmart. The whole thing with Walmart though is there, I have yet to find many in stock that I like for $5.97. Um, and like I said, this set here was $7.97 at Ulta. It doesn't come with the accent nail, but quite frankly, I have plenty of accent nails. I could wear that with it, you know? So yeah, that is, hold on, baby, I'll let you out. That is, uh, how I've gotten my nails looking so good lately. And there's no damage to my nail bed, which is what I like. I can keep them short, just keep trimming them up for the next couple months to really let my personal nails, my my own nails, have a chance to heal and grow out strong. And then we'll see what I need to do with those. But I just think this is so fun and so easy. I mean, they are so easy. You literally, the, the sticky stuff is on the back of the nail. So I literally just put it on and squeeze them. So yeah, let me know if you would like to see a me in, install, put a set on, well, we can do that. All right, dinner's in the oven. Obviously, I did not feel like making the pork chops tonight, which is fine, no brine, I'll make them tomorrow, probably for lunch, oh, sorry, for lunchtime tomorrow. And then um, I have a Dollar Tree haul, finally got put one together that I need to film tomorrow that will go up on Sunday. And then we'll determine if I have anything else to film this part of the weekend or not. All right, I'm gonna, oh, I bought something at Five Below, but I'll show you, I picked up some cat beds for the boys. All right, let me get my dinner cooking here. I'm hungry. All right, guys, we're getting ready for bed. I just wanted to show you the last thing I did today. I went to Five Below and I picked up these two cat beds. 
small dog, cat, whatever. I think what I'm going to need to do, though, is just get the sewing thread out, stitch them together, because if not, when they jump up and down on there, I'm afraid they're going to go flying. Or I could put some shelf liner down. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. So that way I can wash them, but one of them is half on my desk. <laughs> we have more issues with this window seat and these two cats. So I'm hoping that having two separate beds, there is room for both of them to lay here, but they're both just a pain in my neck some days. So I'm hoping that having the two beds here, each of them will have their own spot. And for five bucks, heck yeah, I'll get two. They are so soft and fluffy. The bottom, I don't know how long they're going to last. I mean, they're, this feels like recyclable, <laughs> you know, grocery bags. But if we're being truthful, they're cats. We shouldn't have, you know, they're not perfect. That's where it was stitched together. But they're nice and fluffy. And for small animals, like for the cats, I think these are going to be perfect. And they have the window right there. Hi. And they're able to, I hope, you know, when it's nice out, I have the window open and they get the fresh air. And they're close to me, so hopefully they stay off my desk while I'm working. All right, I'm going to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed. Well, actually, I'm going to go shower, then bed. But I hope you enjoyed my day in the life video, and I will talk with you later. Bye!